Chapter 15, Basket I make longer and longer trips around the island. I need a basket for these trips. With a basket I can carry more food during my trips. I can also carry more fruit from the fruit valley. I cut branches from the tree which I use for my fences. I use the branches for the basket. When I finish the basket, I decide to make a long trip around the island. I go through the fruit valley. After the valley, I find some fields. A lot of grass is on the fields. The fields are very flat. There are a lot of flowers on the fields. The flowers smell so good. Many insects fly around these flowers. I see some big butterflies. Their wings are 10 centimeters wide. I also see small trees around these fields. I find nuts on these trees. These nuts are different from nuts in England. They have a different shape. They are also more sweet than nuts in England. I discover some new animals on this side of the island. Wild cats live here. I also see many parrots and other interesting birds. I catch one parrot. I take the parrot with me. His body has many colors. I see red, green, orange, blue, pink and yellow. This part of the island is very nice. More food is here. But I don't want to move here. My dog catches a young goat on the way back. I save the goat. I take the goat with me. I want to keep goats. Now I have another chance. I leave the goat in my valley house. I want to prepare some space for the goat in my first home. I am so tired from the trip. I relax the whole day. I make a cage for the parrot. I bring home the goat. The goat starts to be calm. I make a map of the whole island. I put these new places on the map. The time goes very fast. Soon, it is September again. This is my second year on the island. I am less sad now. I accept my situation. I have many good things in my life. My days are similar. I hunt in the morning. I cook at noon. I relax in the afternoon when the sun is very strong. And I work in the evening. This is my typical day. I also teach my parrot how to say his name. His name is Pole. I have a problem with my corn in November and December. The wild goats want to eat the little plants. I don't want to lose my corn. So I quickly make a fence around the field with the corn. I make a gate in the fence. I put my dog inside the fence. He protects my corn at night. Soon, the plants are tall, but another danger comes. Birds start to eat the seeds. I shoot at the birds. They fly away. I must watch my field every day. Chapter 16 Bread I have my first corn at the end of December. It isn't a lot of corn. I don't want to eat the corn. I decide to keep all the seeds. My goal is to put the seeds in the ground and have more corn later. I need some pots for the seeds. I look for clay on the island. I find some clay and I try to make a pot. I have no success at the beginning. But I try again and again. It is long work. But after two months of experiments, I make two pots. I put the pots in baskets. I put dry grass between the baskets and the pots. 
The dry grass and the baskets protect the pots very well. I continue to make small pots. Their quality is better and better. I also make long but not very high pots. I put sea water in them. When the water is gone, I have salt. One day, I find a broken piece of a pot in the fire. The fire makes the piece very hard. It is like a stone. The piece is very red too. I have an idea. I take one pot and I make a fire around the pot. The pot is very hard after two hours. I am happy with the result. I also need a tool with which I can make flour. I take a big piece of hard wood. I make a hole in the wood. I put the seeds in the hole. Then I take another piece of hard wood. I break the seeds in the hole with this second wood. The flour stays on the bottom of the hole. Now, I want to bake bread. I have an idea. I mix the flour with water. Then, I take two stones. I put the stones near the fire. When the stones are very hot, I put the bread between them. Now, I have my first bread on the island. The bread is not perfect. But I like the bread a lot. It is my first bread after a long time. It is during my third year on the island. I think about traveling around the island by sea. I think that it is possible to make a canoe. I want to make a canoe from a big tree. I find one big tree. I cut the tree. I start to make a hole in it. But after some days, I start to think about something. I start to think how to get the canoe from the forest to the beach. I think about it because I am quite far from the beach. I see that it is a problem. I see a small hill between the forest and the beach. It is not possible to move the canoe over the hill. The canoe is very heavy for it. I am really angry. I have to leave the canoe in the forest. Many days of work are lost. I don't believe that I can make such a mistake. I have to plan my work better next time. Chapter 17 Canoe After three years on the island, my clothes are already very old. I start to use the skins of the animals. I make a cap and other clothes from the skins. I also need an umbrella. I try to make an umbrella from the skins too. It is difficult at the beginning. It takes some time. But I am successful in the end. After three years, I am quite happy. I have everything what I need for my life. My life on the island continues for the next five years. During this time, I decide to make another canoe. The canoe is smaller. It isn't difficult to move it to the beach. The canoe is finished in June. I want to travel around the island in the canoe. I put food, water, and guns in the canoe. I am ready for the trip. The beginning of my trip isn't easy for me. I am in danger when my journey starts. I have to go around some rocks in the sea. When I want to go back to the land, I feel a strong current under the canoe. The current is taking me away from the island. The situation is horrible. I am scared. I can't survive in the open sea. I don't have enough food and water for a long journey. I fight very hard against the current for two hours. Then, I am able to get close to my island. 
I can continue my trip around the island. Now, I know that I am stronger than the currents around the island. I feel good. I feel strong. Soon, I find a small river. I go up the river. But I get nowhere because soon the river is very narrow. Stones block the way. I can't continue. I leave the canoe where it is. I want to explore this part of the island. I am not far from the part of the island which I know. Soon, I find a way to my house in the valley. I am very tired from the trip. Soon, I sleep. Then, I hear a voice. I wake up. The voice is saying my name, Robinson. Where are you? Robinson.